Hey, it's MK, and I am back with another Mixed Media Frenzy Friday, and today we are scrap lifting the amazing uh, Scrappy Kathy, who is Kathy McAffle... Mc oh, I'm so sorry, I say this name wrong every time, Kathy. I apologize. Mac Fresh is her last name, and she is just... <laughs> Uh, she is just as as uh, spunky as her layouts are, you guys. I absolutely love scrap lifting, uh, Kathy. So with this layout, it is pretty much a no paper layout. Seriously, um, from the looks of it, it looks like it's white cardstock in the background, a photo mat, and then some fun stuff all the way around to decorate the layout and a story. So what I have for you today is um, a a branding strip that I was plan on using for my title. I have um this cute photo. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Anyways, I have um, just a photo of us uh, covering up an entire truck because that is exactly what it looks like every time we take a family photo in front of something. It's so big or our family is so big that seriously, <laughs> you don't see what's behind us. <laughs> oh my gosh, you should have seen it when we bought my daughter's car. It was hilarious. Anyways, that's another story for another time. Uh, here, I am playing with a brand new product, you guys. Now, this is new to me. It came in one of my um, Tonic Studios craft kits. So this is something that I would not have purchased on my own because it's kind of sort of like a color burst. So it's a pigmented uh, watercolor that is in its powder form. And what I did was I sprayed a bunch of water down and then just lightly, very lightly, because it is very pigmented, squished out a, a, a couple bits of powder, right? And then I just rocked the boat. I just tipped my paper back and forth until I got the color to do what I wanted it to do, to spread basically, because at the very end, I accidentally squished too much and got too much powder out. And so um, I don't want to use a paintbrush because the paintbrush will actually soak up the color. And um, so I just have to keep using my water to get the powder to dissolve. And then what I'm going to do is take my favorite tool in all of my mixed media arsenal, my finger, and basically take those puddles and splash. So, you know, kind of like a little kid in a mud puddle may want to jump in it and splash the water everywhere. That is kind of what I'm doing. I'm just taking my finger and tap, tap, tapping until I get the splatters that I am looking for. Now, of course, I tapped a little bit too hard and it went everywhere. And I honestly didn't want teardrop splatters. I wanted dots. And so what I'm going to do to fix it is I'm going to dip my finger in what is left of the um, of the puddle and go and go around and fix all of the splatter. Now, I have to tell you guys that somehow, some reason, my camera got moved to the point where the upper portion of my layout always gets cut off. So I, I apologize. I didn't realize that it had moved that bad um, until after I've already done this process. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping into the, the you know, leftover paint that I have that hasn't dried yet. And I'm going through with my finger and trying to make the teardrops circular. I don't want the, the streaky splatters, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I want the dots rather than that. But what's another cool effect that I noticed was happening is when I splashed my finger and I got a little bit on what was already there, it left little rings. And I was like, Oh, that's awesome. I really like how that looks. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that uh, Kathy's layout has in it is um, it's she it looks like she took um, one or two colors of spray and sprayed her lines on it. And I really didn't want to use spray. Spray is something that I use all the time, you guys. And I, could, I just wanted to kind of branch out just this once and use a new product. And so that is kind of why I decided to create a vertical or a horizontal line, sorry, um, a horizontal line across my layout with something different and, and not, um, not the sprays kind of is what I'm trying to say. Now, could I have gotten the same technique with the packaging technique? Probably. I definitely probably could have gotten something similar to, but not exact. I'm very happy with how it looks. I love all the sparkle, you guys. That's one of the things that Color Burst does not have is this shimmer that is inside. Um, these are called, well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just realized this. It's Nouveau Shimmer Powder. Hmm. 
Did I say that at the beginning? Because I just, like my light bulb just came on. Can you see how bright it is now? It, it seriously did. Um, <laughs> I had no idea. And down at the bottom, it says create beautiful metallic color burst. <laughs> I guess I should read my product a little bit more before I start my voiceovers. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, I pulled out, uh, I have this bin. It's a little uh, container that um, I got. It's a double stamp container from Stampin' Up! which they do not make anymore. And all of my leftover bits from projects for my industrial grunge bin actually go in this little container. And what I did off camera, because it's very boring, is I went through the container and just started pulling out stuff. You know, I wanted to pull out all the gears that, you know, and, and all these gears are left over from a project. So the gold gears were on a project, the metal gears were on a project, the bronze gold uh, gears were on a project. They were all left over. Some of the cut aparts were a leftover project, just you get the idea. Um, and so I just kind of sort of thought, you know what, let's make it all into one project. Why not? Now on this clock right here, I actually glued um, an iodized gear onto it. So it didn't come that way. It was something that I did thinking I was going to use it on a project. Never did. And now I'm, I get to use it. And it kind of matches already what was in um, the number 79, that, that paper. And then, of course, I've got some cut aparts that I cut apart from a Kaiser Craft 6.5 by 6.5 sheet. And I've got like um, blueprint sketches of engine parts is kind of what it is. And so I thought that that would be kind of cool um, to go ahead and have that. Plus it matches the gear. And so it kind of sort of is the same green, but eh, not really. Um, but because I used a couple of it around my layout, it made sense to go ahead and add it because it's it's kind of sprinkled on the layout. So anyways, um, my title is the best thing about a photograph, the memory never changes. So I left out two words only because I wanted to rip the ends instead of have them perfectly straight. Um, just because I think that um, when I when I think of gears and grunge and all that stuff, I just I never think of straight edges, um, to be honest. And I actually um, went and scuffed up the edges of my photo mat as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure I left that in. I can't remember now. But um, the photo the photo mat, I didn't want to just have it a straight edge either. I wanted it to be a little bit um, with a white edge. And that's one of the beautiful things about Close to My Heart cardstock is that it is white core cardstock. So it's color on the outside. But then once you use like an embossing folder and sand it, you're going to see that white show through. It's it's like a it's it's like magic. Ooh. Um, it's also kind of like that other paper that's out there. Coordinations, I think is what it's called. Only instead of it being craft on the inside, it's white on the inside. So it's pretty cool. Anyways, um <laughs> and the best part about the white is you can always change the color. It's just it's never ending, you guys. Seriously, never ending. All right, so I am just going to finish off by plugging in. Now, what I did with my embellishments is I had, surprisingly enough, I had almost like three of everything. I had three metal pieces. I had three gold pieces, three copper pieces, um, three cut aparts. I mean, I just, it was, it was awesome that I had three of everything. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I split it up into three separate groups being small, medium, and large or small, large-ish and, and, and large. Um, <laughs> I'm terrible about the, the, you know, having small, medium, and large. I just do what I want, you guys. Um, sorry. But <laughs> I split them up and I just had the perfect amount all over. And so instead of using sequins or enamel dots like Kathy used, I am going to use these three-dimensional stars that are by Tim Holtz. They are my favorite stars in the whole wide world. I do have to tell you guys, though, that once you put them in the album and you dedicated a page protector to them, that's pretty much going to be its page protector for life um, because they are very sharp pointed um, in the center. And if your album gets full like mine, it will definitely leave little tiny dimples in your page protector just to let you guys know. All right. Last thing that I decided I was going to do to this layout is add a little bit of brown um, spray and I just drizzled it all over going straight across and then of course my layout is kind of sort of going into a v-shape down um, the, at the bottom of the page so I went ahead and accented a little bit more with some of this um, walnut stain spray that I happen to have sitting on my desk from a previous project that's it so here is the layout that I created today for mixed media frenzy um, scrap lifting off of Kathy who is also a member here on 
uh, mixed media frenzy. So that was fun that we did that. I am just so stoked. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out everyone else that is playing along with Mixed Media Frenzy Friday. All of their links will be down below. Plus, we also have a Facebook group. So if you guys are interested in seeing past uh, medias that we have lifted, then um, they are posted on the Facebook group within the albums. You can see each album has, um, we have one album for every lift that we have done. Also, at the end of every month, the last Friday of every month is posted already because we want you guys to play along with us. How fun. And if you guys have um, an Instagram channel or any other social media, YouTube, Facebook, any of that stuff, pop it on in there at that post and say, hey, I played along with you guys this month and we will be sure to make sure, be sure to make sure <laughs> that it is uh, listed in our comments because that is just uber super fun, right? Anyways, again, thank you and I will check y'all later. Bye.